Can you see? Can you see that? Okay, yeah, I can see. So you have the two you have the two outer needles on it or the two inner needles? The needles is on this side to the right. So I got the middle and the right okay. needle. Okay. You can try doing the the outside needles if you want. You can do both ways. But I prefer to do the two outside needles. Uh-oh, did it get stuck? Might have got stuck. Try pulling it from the back a little bit if it gets stuck. So this is the same shot. I'm just showing you how it's going to make it straight. So this is the same shot of your titties. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I get it. How did it look? Um, we I didn't do the whole class on live. Thank you for the like. This is where it got stuck at, but this the back. Cut out a quick thong for you. Yeah, it's up to you. I just want to make sure that you, your your questions are answered. So <laughs> when I um so say I do cut the thong out right, and I tuck it inside of here, these lines that's on top of here is that okay? What do you mean the top stitch? Yes. So it's fine with it looking like this? It looks normal to me. Okay. Just making sure. Because it's in the middle. It's yeah, in the it's in the middle might, of it. You might need to um adjust your tension if you feel like it might be looking a little too tight. You can play around with the needle tensions. Uh -huh. But that looks fine. That's how that's how I look. Okay. The main thing you want to make sure is that the back that you're is flat, it's not too loose. That should really be the only section you may have to lay around with sometimes, or you may have to um, lay around with the pressure for the tension. Well, this is so the like, settings that I got from the girl. I'll show you when she helped me. This is the looper setting right here. That's all. What is that? Four and a half? Yeah. Yeah, right now. And when she sent me that, that's what helped it to start working. Right. Yeah, so it really it really depends on your fabric. You may have to play around with different settings. What what I do is like for certain fabrics that I know I need to change my settings, I write it down. Mm -hmm. So this way I know when I'm working with a certain fabric, I know that I need to change my settings. And always test out on whatever fabric you're gonna be using. This way you're not trying to figure it out when it's time for you to sew. If you have that figured out before you start your project, mm -hmm. it'll make it a lot So I got a question. Um, when you all are like making the straps, say like I'm say like I'm making a strap and then I'm gonna attach the thongs wherever I decide I want to uh, attach it. How do you make sure the strings don't come loose? Like when you first started off, is there a way you can lock the strings, or do you just burn the strings so they don't come out? Cause so like I, you would, you can tie a knot in one at the end. Uh huh. Kind of like 
with like swimwear, they just tie a knot down. I don't tie a knot. It doesn't. It doesn't come apart. Um, but I used to when I first started. I would tie knots at the end. But I stopped doing that because the strings don't come apart for the most part. Oh, okay. Because I was like, hmm. Because I know sometimes I'll burn the ends on my um, on my fold over elastic just to make sure, you know, nothing comes apart, comes out, or anything of that nature. So. Okay. You can tie it up. See if I can. So this um this little concoction I got from Five Below it has a ring light attached to it too. <laughs> yes. So it has the the part that holds the camera. You can like make it squiggly or however you want to move it around. And it has a clip to hold the phone, and then the ring light is on the other side. Oh, yes. well, that's cool. Okay. You ready? You ready to start recording your content? Oh, I'm already doing it. <laughs> well, you know, promote it in the group. Um. So this is what I did so far. You can see it. And this is the back, using the cover stitch. Um, so if you want lessons on how to do trimming on the cover stitch, um, you can hit up Pretty Kitty Threads. And Thank you. You're welcome. And um, her class was what? That was $300, right? $300 for the class. Um, she does have in person too. Huh? Oh yeah, you're gonna learn a lot, learn a lot, a lot, a lot. Person in person and virtual. If you you know still iffy about going over to people house, she does have virtual. But um, this is it right here. Here's a strap, and it's so pretty. And I figured that holographic fabric works a lot better for me on here than just regular spandex. So this is regular spandex, and I've played around with it on my cover stitch, and it don't like it at all. So this is a thong pattern I got from a friend of mine. She's O Exotic. This is a thong pattern by her, so I'm going to cut out a thong pattern real quick and see if it will catch on to it because... This could basically be a strap for it, but yeah. So, let me do that real quick. I think I'm going to use this white fabric I got in this bag over here. I thought about having some stuff cut out already, but I was messing around with that MacBook. Trying to get it to update. I will use this really quick, make some room. Yeah, but I was determined to get this thing fixed. I was like, I am not finna pay no money for this to get fixed. I'm finna try to figure out what's wrong with it myself. Is that your industrial one or your regular one? Thank you. 
Well, whenever I decide to get good, I'm going to um try to get me a jukey. And I saw they cost like six hundred dollars. Yeah, you can find them even cheaper. I found mine on the marketplace for a dollar. It's not my regular jiffy. And it's not it was not wrong with it. I still use it. It's a great machine. Are you still using the Jeep Wrangler? Yeah, I do. That don't work. That don't work, and it's not like you could just throw it out on your garbage because you need two people to carry those machines. Right. But they're so worth it. They're so worth it. I can't wait to get more. I'm trying to get me a house so I can have more room to do all of this stuff. Right, that's what I was thinking, right? Get a house with a finished basement. I, I, don't, I don't like basements. <laughs> I don't like basements. <laughs> I know, I'm the, I'm the same way. I'm like, it has to be like a finished basement and a basement that has like decent sized windows, not like those little jail windows. That's yeah. Like, So when I'm getting this in here, I got to put it right inside this little opening, right? What are you putting in? The thong. So first, I do the sides first. The outside. Right, that's what I'm doing, the sides. Yeah, so put that fabric right in the hole. It should be touching inside of the hole. And the opening or on this side right here? Hold on. On that side. Right here? I can't see. So you're going to place, you're going to place your thong, the outside. Right in here? The, directly in your bowl. Right. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. I hope I don't know what I'm doing though. Girl, I need someone who knows what they're doing. Or at least... Like, what you trying to find somebody to uh, help you sew? Yeah, I want some like um, I want experienced seamstresses. I had somebody helping me, but she ended up getting pregnant, and I haven't heard from her since she has the baby. I understand. Once you have a baby, your life changes. Mm-hmm. It caught it. You got it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, keep going. Make sure you hold that fabric at the end. Oh, shit. You got it. Don't be scared. <laughs> I'm about to, but I'm just trying to see because I think I'm about to run out of uh, fabric, but I'm trying to see that. So yeah, look at this. <laughs> Hold on. You did it, Miss Mama. I meant to record yeah. on my camera. 
And this is the back. It looks so professional. Perfect. Yes. Hey. Well, I mean, you know, Mona. You you didn't you did not need me to do that. Um yes I did. <laughs> no, you did it, but she she was down at her phone. I've been trying to figure out how to do this thing. I've been playing around with it. So, like I said, holographic fabric, yes. Regular spandex, no. You'll have to like use the sewing machine for the regular uh spandex. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Here's so, Luna. She, she wants to say hello, you guys. And here's my baby. Oh, hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. Do, do, do you mind if I say your name, Makita? Yeah. What's your, what's your, um, Instagram? Uh huh. My business. Bad Bunny Exotic Wear. Okay, so let me see. Show the professionalism. Here it is. Here. Okay. Do y'all see that? Get into it. This is the bag. Professional. Beautiful. Thickness. Thick. Do you feel more comfortable now? Yes, I do. I do. I do. So, um, so all I have to do is just do it regular. Cut the string, then. Just um, make sure I tuck it inside the part here in the opening, right? Right. So now you're going to do the same thing that you did on the other side. Oh, okay. So you're going to the outside, and then once you have the other outside, then you're going to have the top. And then you can either fold it back and add elastic. Quit trying to play with my can... string, girl. <laughs> my cat. Girl. Right. So I can just cut this part here, right? Cut the excess. Cut the excess off on both ends. Will it come apart? What you do is look at it, and it's, it's just like when you trim with the sewing machine. You're still trimming in the same area. So you have to just place it differently inside of the binding attachment, but it's still the same concept. Oh, so I just fold this part up. over. You can put the other side. Okay. And then fold, yeah, exactly. You will fold it back and then fold back to the top. The okay. Two sides. Let me cut some more string. Yeah, you need strings. This is nice. I like okay. that. Yeah. You could definitely learn just saying, where are you located? I'm in Carbondale, oh. Illinois. Oh, I'm talking to one of somebody on uh, TikTok. Oh, girl. Yeah. I thought you was talking to me. What part of Texas you trying to go to? I'm trying to go to Houston. Woo! Just don't move to the flooded parts. That's all. Just don't move to the flooded parts. Yeah, I heard about the, the flood zones out there. So, yeah. Have you been to Texas before? Who me? Yeah. I lived out there for a while, but not in not in oh, Houston. Really? Yeah, I, I stayed in um, Arlington. Not too you know, far from know. Dallas. Okay, that's perfect. I definitely, definitely see myself in Houston in the future. Just know it's oh, hot as hell out there, and it's a different type of heat. Girl, For and I real. feel like this North Carolina heat is crazy, so I'm sure Texas is even worse. When it's 115, it's actually 120. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, I'll be in, I'll be in the house. Yeah, I was in the house too, but even at nighttime, it's still a little warm. Still a little warm. <laughs> she said, yes, it's hot as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't do well with this. But like I said, I just keep my, my black in the house. That's what I'm doing now, and I'm in Illinois, and I think it's like 90 something right now. Yeah, it's hot. 
I don't do the heat. Mm-mm, no, baby. No, no. <laughs> Um, might do a bikini. Right. Let's see. Let me get this string up in here. Hopefully, I ain't cut it too thin. Up. Oh. The zoom has ended, but. Since I have done the class, we're, we were picking up from previously when I started the class with her because my cover stitch just didn't want to act right and I had to figure out what was wrong with it and fix it. And so, whatever she did fix me up, not fix me, whatever she did teach me, um, I remembered like folding it and cutting it in a diagonal for the uh, trimming before putting it in this uh, binder attachment these binder attachments you can get off of uh, Amazon this one was like $13 but I had to wait a while for it I guess because it was coming from China I don't know but um, I have it hooked up a certain way where um, it'll reach my two needles that I have on this cover stitch. So I am going to set this up so that we can finish doing the string, practicing, because practice makes perfect. And I am going to find my looper because I like to use my looper to get my strings to act the way that they need to act. Okay, got that string. And That goes to the back. And then last but not least, oh wait, no, this doesn't go to the back. This is my other string. So let me pull that out. And then this one right here goes to the back. Okay, so got these two out, and then we're going to get this one to pull towards the back. And I think generally you're supposed to use the um, tweezers that come with the cover stitch, but I ain't got time to look for that, so I'm just going to use my... little loop tool and pull it towards the back. Yay! Alright, so back to this. I'm going to fix this back up how it was. Okay. 
got to maneuver around this binder attachment and get this. All right. Got that in there. Now, I got to try to make some string. Got to try to match it for it to be as long as uh, this string is. That was her sending me a message on Facebook. Because it only lasted, um, it didn't last as long as it should have. The Zoom meeting. For a cover stitch, it's a lot different than a serger, and you have to hold these thread tension release buttons up here at the top to um, release your string that you're doing. Cut this part here. Hmm. My string came out about the same, maybe the same length, possibly. But this is what it looks like. And this is what the back looks like. So I would say that this cover stitch class was the $300 worth it. Yes. I would recommend it. Um, again, her business name is Pretty, uh, Pretty Kitty Threads. And you can find her on Etsy. She has a uh, exotic dancewear um, group called DIY Exotic Dancewear. You all can join if you're wanting to learn how to make exotic dancewear. You're more than welcome to join the group. She's pretty knowledgeable. She can help. Uh, there's other knowledgeable people in the group that can help as well. I'm in there. So this was a pretty fun class at first i was so frustrated because this machine would not act right the thread okay so see how this is chained and looks perfect at first it was not doing that it was bunching the thread up it was making it look thick and ugly and i was just so sad so she was like Whenever you get your machine fixed, we can pick back up from where we started. So I'm so happy she did that and, you know, helped me out and tried to help me figure out my machine. But now this baby is fixed. I fixed it along with some 
um, help from two other people that's knowledgeable in this industry. And so this is what it looks like. And so, technically, what I would have to do is cut these here and tuck it inside here for the thread to catch on. And boom, the thong would be completed. And I would just, you know, make sure that the strings are long enough on each side. So, yeah. So, I'm so happy about that. Finally. And you know what else? It could possibly help me when I get ready to start my wholesale bikini and thongs. So, I'm happy I took this class. Like I said, Pretty Kitty Threads, Etsy, um, DIY, Exotic Dancewear on Facebook. Join the group. She has patterns. Um, once you learn how to sew, there is someone that teaches how to do this. Her name is Candace Rhodes. Her business is Hidden Agenda Brand. Hidden Agenda Brand on Instagram. She's always pricing her classes and her stories. You're more than welcome to DM her. She's very helpful, understanding. She does respond back pretty quick. She has a decent respond rate. And um, she was an awesome teacher. And I've been doing this for a year. So learning how to use this baby, it's going to make things a hell of a lot better. I mean, hell of a lot better. I'm going to raise this up some so you can see me. So, I'm happy I took the class, and sorry for my hand being in the way, trying to adjust this phone. I'm happy I took the class. You all can take the class, too, to um, help lighten the load with certain outfits. And like I said, this type of material, this is holographic fabric, four-way stretch awesome on this machine this is regular spandex material i don't like using it on the machine if i was to use my cover stitch i would use the holographic fabric this more than likely would be used on the sewing machine to make trim with so i'm happy i just thought i would um video my little quick journey using my cover stitch machine this is a brother cover stitch 2340 c as in charlie v as in victor um i actually found this off of facebook marketplace and somebody was selling it for about three hundred dollars so if you're in need for a cover stitch check Facebook marketplace That's it for now Thanks for watching me learn how to use my cover stitch and my trimming class You all have a good day. Oh um, You can follow me on TikTok at bad bunny exotic wear and you can follow me on Instagram at bad bunny exotic wear as well and I may do a quick video on the artist that I got in connection with to make my new logo. So stay tuned and thanks for watching y'all. Y'all have a good day.